if you take the A series of paper, so this is A4 paper, it's pretty standard in most of the world. If you take a piece of paper like this, if you look at the ratio between the long edge and the short edge, which means if you measure the long edge and you divide by the short edge, it will be the square root of two. And they pick this on purpose. The square root of 2 is about 1.4 or 1 something or other and it's the number you get if you work with Pythagoras theorem which said that if you have a unit length along there and a unit length along there so this length, the square of this length plus the square of that is that, this length is root 2. It's the square root of 2. If I fold this piece of paper in half, let's try that out, this now is something called A5 paper. We started with A4 this is now A5 paper. Now if you do the same thing again, if you take the long edge of this and divide by the short edge, it will again be the square root of 2. The ratio is the same. They do this so that you can scale things up and scale them down without it being disproportionate. The square root of 2 is this, which is 1.4. It runs on forever. It doesn't stop at a particular point. And there are a whole range of these. This is just the first of many. Another one is pi. In fact, they start off with A0. And A0 is defined to be a piece of paper which has ratio, square root of 2, and it has an area of 1 metre squared. In fact, root 2 is the only ratio where this works.